the grappling hook. When abused in ways that most players don't ever imagine, enables some of the fastest movement possible in Titanfall 2. Let's learn how to do it ourselves. This guide is going to be pretty heavily inspired by a couple of community members who first discovered and learned to maximize the grappling hook, so shoutouts to Mike the Norseman and It's Ethereal for sharing this info with me. Before we get too deep into this video, there is something that I wanted to warn you guys about. You need to understand how to bunny hop, how to air strafe, and how to eject strafe. Check out the description box down below, watch the prerequisite videos first before you give this one a try because trust me, it's a lot harder than those. To start off, there's some fundamentals that we've got to cover. First, while the grappling hook pulls you towards a certain direction, it doesn't lock you in that direction. Think of it as a vector. Go back to your Physics 101 class and think of vectors once again. Most players I see using the grapple use it like that. They grapple a point and then just allow it to pull them in a straight line towards that point. You're able to swing around that point that you've grappled, much like Spider-Man swinging between buildings, which allows you to maintain or even generate momentum traveling around that point. Second, the grappling hook constantly checks for and rechecks for a grappling point. This means that if something crosses the grappling hook's path while it's active, the hook will automatically pull back and attach to whatever interrupts the rope. So, for example, check out this clip where an enemy is ejecting from their titan. It's quite easy to see this happening, so shoot your grapple early, right over their head, and you're almost assuredly going to grab that pilot out of the air and suck them back down to the ground. Third, very short distance grapples will not use up a full charge of your grappling hook, which makes it great for short distance repositioning in really tight situations. Fourth, pressing either crouch or your tactical ability button a second time will disconnect the grapple. Make sure to avoid doing this when trying to abuse grapple in ways that I'm about to teach you because it will mess you up. Finally, the speed that you'll travel after completing the maneuvers you're about to learn is based in large part on how far away your grappling point is. If you use it on a building that's really close to you, your max speed isn't going to be all that great. However, if you choose a point that's really, really far away from you, the maximum speed potential is much, much greater. Let's start off with the easiest way to get some speed off of grapple. Load up a private match and find a flat stretch of land. Angel City is great for this, as it's nothing but roadways. Look at the ground as far away from you as your grapple will let you attach, and shoot your grappling hook at that point. As soon as it connects with the ground, just jump a single time and do nothing else. You're gonna soar over that grapple point and be launched at similar speeds to what Stim would provide you. Practice doing this and entering a slide hop as soon as you land, and be sure not to press crouch too soon. Wait for the grapple to detach before pressing crouch or else you're going to kill your momentum. Moving on, let's take a look at mixing in air strafing with our grapples to build up speed. Instead of grappling the ground, grapple the edge of a building. When you do so, you're going to be jumping as soon as the grapple hits, just like we did before. This time though, we're going to set ourselves up to air strafe around that point that we've grappled. So let's say that you want to swing around a corner that's off to your right. So we're going to be grappling the building off to our right and jump immediately like we did before. This time, hold W and A on your keyboard or move your joystick roughly 45 degrees counter clockwise. Also, turn your aim so your grappling point is about 90 degrees to your right while this is happening. The goal here is to strafe away from your grapple point and aim away from the grapple point. Once you feel like you've strafed away from the grappling point for long enough, and this is entirely subjective based upon how far away you're grappling, you're going to immediately switch to a full rightward strafe and rightward aim movement. This is identical to the input you'd use to perform the air strafing that you already know and love. To explain this another way, you transition to holding D on your keyboard while moving your mouse right, or holding a full 90 degrees clockwise in the left stick while aiming to your right. If you performed all these things correctly, you're going to air strafe around the corner of breaking next speeds, which can be maintained easily by slide hopping. Don't expect to be doing this perfectly on your first few tries, but keep practicing this until you get it down. To reiterate, stand at the maximum range of your grapple, hit the corner of a building, strafe diagonally away from it while looking away from it, then when you're close enough to that grapple point, start turning towards it while strafing directly towards it, and you're going to retain a lot of speed. This same exact technique works for flying over rooftops, which is exactly what enables the insanely fast flag captures you may have seen in competitive Titanfall 2 on PC. Anyways everyone, that'll just about do it. You've got the fundamentals now, and it's up to you to practice and master them. With some effort, flying across Homestead in a single bound is very much so within your grasp. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you found this guide helpful. Be sure to check out Mike the Norseman's guide as well if you want to hear this explained in another way. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.